you wake up late, you text her right away. Good morning, how are you today? You get the GM HBU. You tell her that you're going to do this, and this, and this today. She just writes cool. My brother, she does not care. So before we actually start the video, I wanted to talk about, this is not a guide to getting girls. I am definitely not qualified for that. But this is a guide to being mysterious and improving. Like I talked about last video, kind of an introvert, all that. And if that's what you're looking for, then come back in the future. Now, it's not that she doesn't care. It's that you weren't mysterious enough. And I see lots of people who put their relationships over improving. And they end up just like Mom Billy Jr. from Baki. And if you take a second and analyze the show, be aware, you realize that Baki really does not care. But Jr. certainly does, and is willing to fight anyone just to show he's more powerful than Baki. And to get his girl. But Baki was more focused on his goal. And he knew he was more powerful than Jr., of course. He's the main character. He wasn't bothered by him since he knew he was just a fly and a scum. Be mysterious. Now, there is a commonality among anime protagonists. They're all loud, at least most of them. And if you can think of some, I bet you they're loud. Baki is different, yes, but he was annoying when he was a little kid, but eventually became a silent legend. But notice how Baki never really told anybody what he was doing. They were left to figure that out. This leaves people in like suspended terror. If you think about you, you're on their mind. Just don't tell people what you're gonna do. Leave them with a small sentence or a word. So I took this from Hamza's video, but it works so well, so trust me. Someone says, what are you up to? Say bits. They will probably be confused and just laugh it off and then move on to the next subject. But this triggers something in them. It gets their mind running and thinking about you. You're leaving an impression and they think, what could he be up to? What are his motives? So being mysterious is so important in your life and leave a comment if you want me to dedicate a whole video towards it. Goal oriented. You focus on your goals with maximum focus and aren't swayed away by outer distractions. For example, your goal is to get closer to God. You pray more, you're filling your prayer, and you do what God wants. You don't get distracted by something like girls. Most young men do since they want the quick hit of dopamine. Baki didn't do this. He really didn't care that much about his girlfriend. In mind that his goal was train, 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 and he wanted to fight and train. He wanted to accomplish goals. That's why people around him liked him because he was authentic and he wasn't so outside focused. And people around you will start to like you when you they realize that you're not so outside focused. But some people won't. A lot of people won't. Trust me, people will leave you because they want you to be focused on them. Everybody wants to benefit from them. But the real people that want to improve and want to improve with you and want you to improve will come to you when you they realize you're not so outside focused. Now, if you can already tell, I am using the way of Superior Man to help me make this book. That book is amazing. Trust me, go check it out. But be your authentic self. No one will really respect you, not even the person you want, if you're not authentic. No one will trust you. Like, Baki didn't let others influence him. He was himself. He didn't let the people around him influence him. Notice when Kozue cries and begs him not to fight, he doesn't care. He just doesn't let his girlfriend or the people around him influence him. And in the way of the spirit man, it says that. Don't let the people around you influence you. People all around you in your everyday life will want to influence you just to create that perfect you. And don't let them because you want to be you. And like I said before, people just won't trust you if you're not your authentic self. One of the chapters in the way of the spirit man is live as if your father was dead. So most of the time, fathers have a massive, massive impression on young men. In all honesty, I can relate, but I've learned and am still learning to not be influenced. Now, if you don't have a father, I'm not going to say you're lucky because you're not. You don't have the stress of being influenced by one. Because most young men want to impress their fathers, just like Baki did. And you saw that as it got further down the line, and as the show got further down the line. But deep down, he also wanted to defeat him just improve so i do know at the end of my last video i said this too and i don't want to go as in depth about my experience with this but i've been through what i should say is the baki side but for real bro just improve you need to be like baki and implement those good habits 
I talk about them in every video, but they are so important and I can't tell you how important they are. Let me know if you would like a video on how to meditate like Baki because I have some ideas and I think it would be a good idea. So implementing the good habits will automatically make you increase your value, it will boost your value. So you want to be a high value man, right? Well, it will boost your value. Unlike the other guy who refuses to improve and makes bad choices, like Muhammad Ali Jr. He was not improving from Baki. He was just, he wouldn't improve. I hope you enjoyed, bro. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want me to make more content for you. Take care, bro. Peace.